Hello and welcome to the 27th PHP tutorial. This tutorial we're going to be discussing uh, working with a database. Uh, depending on who your hosting is, setting it up is pretty much the same. Usually you'll just go to hosting and then like databases, add a database. And you can pick the database name, you can pick a username and a password. Uh, for now our database name is epic name. There is no table within it. Uh, and then we've chosen a password. So what we're going to do is go over creating a table. A database is really a collection of tables and then within the tables a table is just like a spreadsheet, like an Excel spreadsheet. So let's make this uh, epic table and the number of fields we're gonna have um, we'll just make two fields for now and you'll hit go and that'll make um, you get the option to set this up. So the first field we're gonna say is uh, we'll say name and this will be the person's name and in here you choose the type of data that's going to be in this case it'll be text and leave that all blank this next field is going to be age age is going to be an integer and the rest will just leave blank again and we'll come over here that's good so now we'll just say um, save care folks if you add a field here it'll add another field it's really easy to hit go. But yeah, if you got to this point and you're like, oh shoot, I really want to add one more, then you add more. What a lot of people will do too is have a primary key, which is just a self incrementing um, ID, basically. But this is just a basic tutorial. I just want to show you guys how to connect and uh, use a database. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, save this. And we have now created the table, uh, epic table. Um, and so within this table, you can see we've got an a or name and age, so we can store um, name and age data. So if we go to browse, well, I guess we can't browse because there's no there's nothing in our database yet. So we need to uh, put something in it. So let me insert. So let's just insert some data. So we'll say uh, name. Interesting. Name, we'll say, um, well, we already went over this, Harrison, that's my name, and then we'll do uh, age, we already discussed this, I'm 99, so we'll hit go, and now we have an inserted row, so when we go to browse the database, uh, we can see, this is our database table here, we can see, okay, well, we've got uh, name, Harrison, age, 99, so we have one entry into our database. So now let's discuss how to connect to the database and actually um, start maybe inserting and then maybe reading from the database as well. So uh, let's hop right in into that. So now back to our uh, PHP script. What we want to do is connect to that database. So the best way to do that is let's uh, we'll leave the I guess we'll leave the header there. And now what we want to do is specify uh, the information to connect to it. You could type it all in here like this, but it's best just to uh, store this into variables. So we'll go ahead and do SQL host equals what, then we'll do SQL um, user equals what, and then we'll do SQL pass equals um, what, okay? Oh, and make sure you put your semicolons here. So now we want to go ahead and define uh, these parameters here. So the host name is the IP address. If you're using your own, uh, if you've got XAMPP or whatever on your computer and Apache, then this will just be a local host. But otherwise, you can find that server address just by right here. It's this IP. So you'll come back over to your script. And that's what gonna go, is going to go in there. In this case, it's 5063-232-27. Then the username and password is whatever you defined whenever you made it. In my case, uh, it's going to be epic name, and then it's going to be epic pass. Now, I know if someone's going to definitely uh, try to connect uh, to this with these parameters whenever I'm done with this video, but I will be deleting all these, and this username won't exist anymore, so don't waste your time. Anyway, um, continuing on. 
that's what we're going to fill in there. And then in here with these parameters, you're just going to fill in uh, this. So first you've got SQL underscore host, then you've got SQL underscore user, and then finally you have SQL underscore pass. So now what this is going to do is we'll connect using these parameters. And if it can't connect, it'll just exit and it say failed to connect to the database. Otherwise, it's going to say uh, connected. So now we'll save that, we'll run it. And we'll pop over here, we'll refresh. And sure enough, uh, we've connected to the database now that we have, you know, good parameters in here. <laughs> now, once you've connected to the, the database, the next thing you need to do is connect to the table. And with that, I'm going to continue uh, connecting to the table in the next video. As always, thank you for watching. Thanks for your support, your subscriptions, and until next time.